I'm going to be to Ayrshire. How many of you from Ayrshire? Hey, hands up. Ah, uh, rather, rather an uncouth country. Uh -huh. I noticed the way you dressed. You're all down dressed here. Look at, the, look at the state of you. There's no elegance about you at all. Even my, my tavern wenches here are better dressed than you. What do you make of this, sir? Eh? I mean, look at them. Look at these fellows there. Look at that one leaning against there. Ah, I'll leave out. And then we're going to throw it into the, the prison of the grass market. Robert Burns, my friend, of course, when he was Edinburgh, lived in the lawn market when he came. And he lived, first of all, in that first week in the house of Mrs. Carfrey. And he paid a pittance for his room. He had to share it with someone else, in fact. The poor man was always destitute. But Dr. Blacklock and the other here and many others introduced him to great company. And he became a very famous man. One of the meeting places where he was most often. There was an inn in the room, in the inn rather, known as the Poet's Corner. And in fact, they used to meet in there, and that's where the bulk of their writing and music and verse was composed. In the barge coffin, as it was known. And you know, for many years, the table at which Burns sat survived there, until I believe they knocked my inn down to make way for that road that was down onto Princess Street over the mound now. I was very sad when I looked down from heaven. But you know, sir, I spend most of my time now on the right hand of God in my rightful place. I shall do some more music, please. Sinners of prison's head.